Greetings. Welcome to EDTV News Channel, the People's Channel. In this report, I have a few stories for talk about some shootings and some dropouts coming out of the parish of Anova, St. James, St. Catherine, and Portland. Stay tuned for the full reports. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers. If you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So we'll start off in the parish of St. Catherine, where a mass shooting happened last night at reggae artist Christopher Martin Grandmother Week. And now police are saying that latch scamming was the reason behind the shooting. So we'll get into the report. Several people have been detained as the St. Catherine North Police launched a manhunt for those behind Wednesday morning shooting at a week in Point Hill in St. Catherine. One person was taken out and seven others shot and wounded in a gun attack which occurred sometime after midnight. Superintendent Opton Nicholson, head of the St. Catherine Nard Police, said people were at a wake for the grandmother of reggae artist Christopher Martin when the gunfire rang out. It is alleged that two men opened gunfire at person attending the wake. Eight persons were injured. Seven on location at the wake while another man received gunshot wounds just a little bit down the road from where the wake was being held. The man who received injuries down the road, he succumbed to his injuries. The other seven persons were taken to the hospital where they were treated. The injuries of the seven wounded people are not considered life-threatening. Onil Spencer, a 34-year-old farmer from the community, was taken out. Superintendent Nicholson said investigation revealed that a dispute involving people in the community led to the shooting. He appealed for people who may have disputes to try to find amicable ways of dealing with it and not to resort to violence. In a post to his Instagram account, entertainer Christopher Martin condemned the shooting and also expressed sympathy for the families of those affected. Meanwhile, in light of the shooting, Superintendent Nicholson said no permits will be issued for the holding of events in the community for the remainder of the week, and any further permits will be granted on a case-by-case -case basis after a police assessment. He said no permit had been granted for the week. National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang told the news media that several suspects have been detained in connection with the early morning shooting. He noted that one of the two suspected shooters has been arrested. According to the minister, the shooting may have stemmed to an internal gang over the sharing of funds garnered through lottery scamming. An individual was identified going to this big week when he was seen. Two of the members who were upset with him went after him. The young man ran into the crowd for protection, but they kept firing at him. He was taken out. He also lamented that the police were not informed that the event would be held. Listen to the Minister of National Security. Very unfortunate incident. And again, it, 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 it raises the sensitivity of the community, given um, what has happened recently. And uh, the police response is what will, in fact, give corrections to the community. And they certainly have done major work since morning. They've been apprehended and identified several of the individuals. There are two there, partly. I think they have one out of the two. This was an, appeared to have an internal gang operation. Um, in this case, although St. Catherine, they were calling over sharing of scamming money. And, and the in individuals identified are going to this big um, wake, which is, as many are aware now, so I can call them, it was um, Chris Martin's grandmother. And um, when he was seen, two of the members were upset with him, went after him. The young man ran into the crowd for protection, but they kept firing at him. He was killed, and then six people were injured in the association. There's, in the background, there's some unfortunate events surrounding it, of course, beside that. Because Chris Martin going to a wake is going to be a big event. And the police should have been informed. 
<laughs> so now you hear people tell me in the comment section what you think. Now we'll move on, this time to the parish of St. James. One man shot and taken out and two others injured in Flanka. So we are getting into the report. The St. James police are investigating a matter where three men were shot, one fatally in Flanka, Wednesday morning. Preliminary reports are that about 8.25 a.m., the three men were set upon by unknown assailants who opened gunfire on them on Churchill Crescent in the community. When the shooting subsided, the three men were found with gunshot wounds. One man has since dropped out and the other two taken to the hospital with injuries. The identity of the dropout man has not yet been ascertained. Now, we are moving on, people, this time to the parish of Anova, and this one reached home. So, we are getting into the report. Brother of PNP councillor fatally shot during robbery attempt in the parish. Tragedy struck the family of a prominent political figure last night when Bruce Gard, the brother of the People's National Party PNP councillor Ken Roy Garden, was shot and taken out in burnt ground Anova. The incident occurred during what the authorities believe was a robbery attempt. Bruce Garden, the sibling of the PNP councillor for the Catadupa Division in St. James, was reportedly confronted by armed assailants in burnt ground era. The confrontation quickly escalated, resulting in gunfire that left Garden fatally wounded. The attackers fled the scene immediately after the shooting, leaving the community in shock. Details surrounding the incident remain limited, but law enforcement officials have confirmed that a robbery attempt appears to have been the motive behind the dropout. The police are actively investigating the case with a focus on identifying and apprehending the perpetrators. Now, people, last but not least, we are head to the parish of Portland. Eight charged in Portland drop out after intense police investigation. So we'll get into the report. Detectives from Portland Police Division have charged eight individuals in connection with the drop out of 50 year old Orlando Loden, who was taken out at his home in Bamboo Tree Lane, Ferry Hill District on August 7. The charges come after weeks of intense investigation by law enforcement authorities. Three of the individuals have been charged with dropout. They are 31-year-old Shane Phillips, also known as Taliban, 19-year-old Danamik Perkins, known as Kente, and 18-year-old Raheem Dixon, referred to as Quigley. These suspects are from addresses in St. Andrew and St. Catherine. In addition to the dropout charges, five more individuals, including a teenage boy, have been charged with conspiracy to drop out. These individuals are 30-year-old taxi operator Exeva Carte, 21-year-old landscaper Chad Hilton, 19-year-old blackmaker Fabian McIntosh, and 19-year-old Kevan Jacobs and a 17-year-old boy from Mannings Hill Road in Kingston 8. The incident occurred at approximately 11.45 a.m. on August 7 when Loden was at his home and was approached by two armed men who shot him multiple times. The perpetrators attempted to flee the scene, but the Portland police quickly intercepted three vehicles on the Pasley Main Road shortly after the shooting. The occupants of these vehicles were arrested as part of the ongoing investigation. Subsequent search of one of the motor vehicles involved in the escape attempted led to the discovery and seizure of two firearms. This evidence played a crucial role, role in the investigation. Job well done by the security forces. So there you have it, people. Please leave your comments in the comment section and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good. Blessings.